Okay, welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Digital League Season 8 Battle. This is Late Antiquity Division A. Um, I have the Bosporans with Roman allies. My opponent, Richard Bodley Scott, has the Germanic horse tribes with Dacian Carpi allies. Uh, so Richard is the lead developer of Field of Glory 2, as well as Pike and Shot and Single Jedi. Generally, we trade pretty evenly, but I think it's because uh, he likes to kind of play around with his army choice, get creative, choose armies that maybe aren't commonly perceived as optimal, and I think sometimes he suffers for it, and he's okay with that. Um, so I think our 50-50 trade is probably somewhat deceptive in that sense. Uh, but let's take a look at his army first, as usual. There's potential for an enormous swarm of up to 14 light infantry skirmishers. I don't think he will do that. Um, but it is a danger. For a light horse, um, just a max of two units, light javelin horse and nomad light horse archers. A cavalry line, uh, which has a little bit of non-lancer cavalry, noble cavalry and nomad horse archers, but the vast majority is the uh, protected as opposed to armored noble lancers. For an infantry line, it's all warband swords and he has both close and loose order options with a couple of Falkspent thrown in. These are a very good unit. Um, they're functionally just about identical to the uh, picked Irish foot unit that I'm using in my medieval games, except that they're unmaneuverable and thus cheaper. Right, so we overall have the terrain, it's fair to say. Um, I could try to stretch the line from this mountain to here, uh, but that would leave us pretty thin, so I think we will not do that. And instead, I think we will form on this hill and push right. He'll probably form on these hills and we'll have some kind of a missile duel. And, you know, sometimes in late antiquity it's nice to have these impact foot to fight other infantry, and yet sometimes I wish I had the later types, the uh, Legio, Comitatensis, and Palatina, um, with their darts that are so useful against lancers. Um, we'll put cavalry on the right to try to push out. We will certainly bring our light artillery. I'm almost tempted to bring heavy artillery, but if I put heavy artillery here, you might just avoid it, and it's a waste of points. So I don't think I'm going to bother in this case. I do feel somewhat obligated to grab a swarm of light infantry in case he should bring one of his. even though the uh, javelin men are going to be of limited use with so many horsemen riding around. These auxiliaries aren't going to be of much use thanks to all the impact foot it's going to be about. And my Actual impact foot selection is not super impressive. Let's see how many he can get again. Actually, quite a few if he wants to. Yeah, and if he goes for a large number of uh, infantry, that would actually be rather bad for me as I've sunk so many points into skirmishers. I'll match. Normally I've been grabbing some nomad horse archers, but I think they would just get charged, evade, and well, have a very bad day subsequently. So we'll invest in some lancers to the right wing and then just hold this hill and push or something, unless it all just goes horribly wrong, which also is a possibility. Okay, so we have some commanders to add. Um, 
one more for the infantry, I think. And I think one more for the cavalry as well. Right, so we're not just going to sit here. We're going to push out, hopefully. Maybe we'll, pushing here is an option as well. In fact, I think I will, um, since at least all of these units are maneuverable, I will turn them so that they can either march this way or march this way, depending on his deployment. Next turn, see that deployment. Okay. Looks like we brought more skirmishers to the party and more infantry, though not by too much. And of course, we're vastly outnumbered in cavalry. We'll pretty much set up shop on this hill and then start winning the skirmish battle and maybe force some kind of assault. Next turn. Oop, he's cutting me off. All right. We'll accept the first volley, that's fine. I think we have enough lights that we can afford it. And our light horse archers can make it unattractive for him to push up. Okay, onward. Next turn, we'll start shooting. Next turn. Great. Well, so we will sit on our respective hills and shoot away at one another. We'll push a bit. Could hurt, but I think we can afford to lose a couple of skirmishers and still be fine.
Do I bother shooting at long range? This might be a situation where I do. Oh, it's fine. Hold firm. And let's see. These units will get ready to either push around right or rotate into the front as we pull out disrupted units. Do the artillery join in? Ah, one shot, why not? Do five casualties, worth it, I think. All right, onward. Next turn, let's see what the skirmishing brings. Okay, nothing, nothing too serious yet. perhaps yes they'll just pull them to safety not a big deal but we'll let these guys get charged and if they end up somewhere useful for us it, their sacrifice will be worth it for me Obviously, not for them. Go for an auto break at this point as they're rather close to it. And we'll just clear some room with these guys. Got one more band unit over here. These infantry units are a little bit squishable for my taste. Good. I think this is going decently enough for now. I mean, he might just be trying to exhaust my ammunition until he moves in, but. Whatever, I really have no choice but to engage in skirmishing. Next turn. Okay, nothing too terribly drastic. Oh, except for them. Frag that unit if you can. Yep.
Okay. It's getting a bit confusing. Not too bad, though. Wheel these infantrymen around so that our lights can evade through as needed. For the auto break. No. Oh, that was foolish. I just didn't even count. Okay, what are we to do? I'm kind of tempted to auto break them. Maybe what I should be doing is shooting at the cavalry. Yeah. Skirmishers might end up getting caught, uh, but I don't want to turn these legionaries around because I need to be able to move here in case he should descend. Okay. Where is it? Should I be doing something here? No. I think not. Next turn. Next turn. Oops. Okay, let's see if we can route these without using the artillery. Pressure on this leading unit of Lancers. Held firm. But we at least reduced their numbers. Don't really care if these light javelin men get run down. unit. Let's try it. Very good. Double disrupt. Excellent. Not that it'll break or anything, but it'll reduce their firepower while they still have ammo. We 
Okay, so now with only two units to deal with over here, we should be able to turn this infantry around. Okay. So we are about to have a melee clash here. We'll get our Loose Order Warband ready. So to control lock that unit, they can still move away and we can't easily catch them, but we can keep shooting at them for another break, hopefully. Uh, the question is, these four units of legionaries, should they wheel and join the fight on the right wing, or should they push out the line the open ground here. I think considering that these two units are still here, we should shift them over to the right wing. Just wait for a moment. Okay, so pressure's on, but he still does have six Lancer units to my four here. So we might need to throw our not so oppressive infantry into support. I think it's fair to say that we've won the skirmisher battle. Not that the skirmishers are all dead, but that. We can afford to switch targets to non-skirmisher units. After these Lancers, we can keep shooting at these Lancers, or if they've closed into melee, start trying to work on these unprotected Foxmen. That's, that's the situation. Next turn. Did that to myself. Okay, well, for starters, hold firm, let's just break them anyway. Come on, just... Good. All right, next, what do we do? We need to clear these units out of the way. Order to push our legionaries up. I wish I'd turned this unit earlier. Might get isolated and cut up. We'll see. We'll try to get some fire on these fox men. Okay, um, where does this lead? Oh, they run through, oh, that's really terrible, actually. <laughs> that's really awful. <laughs> okay, um, that's just the worst. Uh, so we need to turn this unit around to try to in these Lancers, because they're about to hit us pretty hard. This 
picked picked war band is gonna crash through our medium foot here as well. At least now it's four on four, more or less. Noble, armored, noble, noble, armored, noble. Right, they evade, charge through. So we're t plus 25 for armored, which is a modest bonus. You might simply shift these over here, and then I wouldn't be able to really block them. That's terrible. This is just terrible. Oh well. That's just absolutely horrific. If I move here... No, because then he can just move... Oh wait, so good. This protects me. If I move here, then he can move here and I can zone of control lock. Or if he moves here, I can at least block with zone of control. So we have it covered, although it is a waste of points, you know. Loose Order War ends 58 points, Noble Lancers is... What, 48? 44? Something like that. It's a waste of points either way. In we go then. Oh! <laughs> Put so much thought into trying to save these guys, and then that happens. Okay. Well, I have the advantage of the hill. Let's see if that can save me. Next turn. Let's see how much richer it can make me pay for my messy. fall back, which actually is fine for them. It's about to get very bad. The fact that he blocked his unit in does sacrifice that unit of Lancers, but it does allow him to rear attack my cavalry wing. And now we have reached the stage of the battle where all my superiority in, in uh, skirmishers doesn't really mean anything. Just awful. Oh, one of my two best units on the field with a better chance to win than to lose. Denied. Right, okay.
Guess we just need to see if we can force some kind of assault. I don't think so. I mean, the warbands don't really suffer very much from missile fire due to their large unit size, so I don't expect him to just charge me. How terrible? Quite terrible. We're low on ammo, so we can't inflict any casualties. Um, face the cavalry. Feeling pretty good at the start, but uh, this is about to get pretty messy, even with the advantage of this hill. So, well done to Richard. Next turn. I was feeling so very confident at the start of this. Yep. Might be able to roll this up, actually. is looking very dangerous. All right, how can we recover this situation? For one, I think we need to break this zone of control, unfortunately. That led to bad things, unsurprising. Okay. Unfortunate. That could help? No. And now we lose this unit. Oh. I think we're gonna lose this one now. Might be able to auto break these two units for what it's worth. Okay, what should I do with this unit? If I... 
move it here, we'll be away from the cohesion check when this unit breaks, but we'll lose the hill. We'll still be exposing this flank. So I think ultimately we need to turn here, hope we hold, and see what happens. this flank which means we're gonna lose these archers yeah he's gonna he's gonna rip me to shreds very well done I am pleased to lose in this manner next turn mmm that's bad gives him more time to come around We're gonna need some rallies or some luck soon, or it's all over. I don't know that I see either of those things in our future. Interesting. Okay, how bad is this? Not that bad yet, apparently. That was not the luck I was talking about. Invested in skirmishers, I think. I could really use another non light unit. Could do this. It's not that great, and if, even if we do, when we just push them back and get flank attack, so we have to stand. Could attempt to rally this unit, but it's a pretty risky use of a general. I don't think it's worth it. We'll let the disaster continue to unfold. Next turn.
uh, these will hit one of my units in the rear during their pursuit. Too late, that disruption. Which way do they turn? Too bad that they hit my good unit. <sighs> okay. Let's. I believe artillery exerts zone of control. Not actually 100% sure. I'm relatively certain, so we'll turn base them. How bad? Bad. Ugh. Really? Uh, I'm tempted, but I think I need to not waste time. This is risky. It could... No, I don't think it's worth it. The warbands are pretty brittle. we can do some good with our lights now. I definitely overinvested in skirmishers and underinvested in infantry. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit more damage, but he's about to destroy my infantry center, and that will be that. Next turn. Goodbye, my infantry. Oh, so there they didn't auto drop again because they'd already been flank dropped by this unit. I mean, they broke anyway from losing the combat. Well, that evens things out a little bit, but this is still very hideous.
going to need to try to shoot these three badly weakened units of cavalry to death and just avoid getting lanced by those. While this is tempting, I don't think it's actually a good idea because we could get charged by that unit. So we'll just keep shooting for now. Uh, there's a 50% malice for shooting at pursuers. That was a mistake. Not that they would have done much good anyway, being irregular foot and getting shot to death, but... Well, we're going to shoot up pursuers anyway, simply because... We have no other available targets. That's a problem. I'm not sure what I'll do about that unit now that I lack any le legionaries. We need to get back uphill, I suppose. It's even. We have a chance. It's going to be very iffy. Our chance is going to depend on picking these cavalry to death and not getting all of our infantry killed too quickly. Next turn. Oh, that's one of mine. Excellent. It's good that they fell back, because now we can shoot them. How much until they auto break? That much. Alright, these are still pursuing, so it's going to be difficult to cause real damage. Up, 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 up. Need these lancers to either chase skirmishers or try to threaten flanks or lock this in or something. Normally, I don't shoot at pursuers, but they're there. There's not much else for us to shoot at right now. What were the odds, anyway? Uh, is that worth it? Probably not. I'd rather stay flexible. Alright, next turn we can take care of that unit. Run away. I'm 
happy to sacrifice this light if it leads to this warband chasing us. Very close. Okay. Next turn. That's too bad. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it's too bad. It's the little things. Don't, it's going to be a bad day for my lights. Very good. Then we could try to auto break this pursuing unit. They're close to the auto break, but I don't think one shot from Light Cavalry would do it. So we can start working on this unit of Noble Lancers. It's gonna take a while at that rate. Goodbye. This could still go either way. We will lose this unit. We will probably lose this unit shortly. Maybe not right away, but shortly. And once this pit warband gets involved, things could get dangerous. We can only hope this close order warband will be pursuing our fleeing man for some time. We can break this unit, so if we can combine that with taking care of these, that would Scrape us by to a win. Next turn. Hopefully, oh, that's bad. <laughs> so to say, hope to say, hopefully he gets no more rallies, and then. Oh no. Oh, they rally and then they disrupt me. Ooh, but then legionaries. Okay, okay, that evens. That evens out the rally luck a bit. Um. Just work on these lights. Break. Good. 
That's 60. So if he doesn't rally, that could be it. Now we'll hit these with as many missiles as we can muster. Which, low ammo. Held firm. Maybe one more shot would do it. No. Take some pot shots at these. See what that costs us. Uh huh. Okay. That is unfortunate. Lock them in place. If he rallies this turn, then I think we will lose because we'll lose this unit and probably this unit. to reduce this unit to 228 men, so we can take 13 more casualties. Very close. Uh, I'm hoping for no rallies for him this turn. Let's see. Okay, looks like we got a game over. Ah. Uh. Right. Well, as you saw, I really did think I was going to lose this thing. Um, I deployed my infantry pretty sloppily because I assumed he would stand defensively here, or perhaps here, that I would have to peck at him with skirmishers and then attack. And he kind of saw my sloppy deployment and took advantage of it and went for the throat. And it very nearly worked. Um, yeah, I had some rally luck with these guys. He also has some rally luck, so I think that more or less balanced out. Um, I mismanaged my cavalry action here and paid for it. But I think the artillery may have been the decisive factor. It helped break some units early on, and it also inflicted heavy enough casualties on his cavalry that I was able to auto-break multiple units with my horde of lights, even at low ammo. And then it was able to sacrifice itself by exerting its own control during a crucial turn. So, yeah, but this could have gone either way, despite the fact that I was standing on pretty good defensive ground. You know, a hill and then a narrow flat ground with a mountain on the side. So, good game, as always, to Richard, and till next time.